Hello everyone, I'm Reza Tangesan and in this video I'm gonna talk about the UMAT core part 2 and this UMAT core I will be trying to define anisotropy and orthotropic materials so stay tuned here as you can see we're gonna define two different materials for uh, orthotropic and isotropic and we're gonna sh show you the difference between these two materials in our previous video, we show you what is UMAT code. So you probably need to watch our previous video and it's, you can find the link in the description. And to understand how to develop a UMAT code for one we says criteria. So before watching this one, make sure you already have the background for this video. Uh, we also explain how UMAT code works and what is the purpose of using UMAT and what's the difference between UMAT and USFLD code. But here we are trying to use UMAT code for anisotropic materials. As you might know, these materials are referred for defining the material which has different material property in different direction. The best example for this material is wood or composite materials. And as you can see here, for comp for example, for composite material, we know that the Young modulus is different in every direction. As we explained before, from continuum mechanics, we know that to define the material properties, we need to define the this matrix, which represents the material property. But for isotropic, we can simplify it, and by knowing Young modulus and Poisson ratio, we can define the material properties. So it should be something like this. But in continuum mechanics, we see different version of this matrix, which was which is the inversion of this matrix. For isotropic material, we know that we should define the materials for this set of variables, but when it comes to orthotropy, we can simplify it and define it as the this matrix. This matrix is different from the previous one. So if we want to get the previous matrix, we need to get the inversion of this matrix. So to use this matrix in our UMAT code, you might need to get the inversion of this one and define it as the DSCD in our code. So the model that we are using is pretty much similar to previous model that we use for UMAT code. From the PDF file that you can find it from our website, we use the following material part properties for Young modulus, Poisson ratio, and shear modulus. As you can see, the material properties are different in every in each direction and also we are using this geometry with these dimensions so we're gonna extend uh, we're gonna pull this part for 20 units and we're gonna fix it from this part and from the pdf file that you can find these equation for orthotropic materials by knowing these equations we can find the other matlab code that you can find it from our website this is the matlab code that i provided for this video as you can see i only define the matrix for orthotropic material and after that i implemented the values for the other three portion ratio that we couldn't find i use the equation that i just showed you and then I get the inversion of it. After that, you can see the results. For each one, I just need to copy this one and print it to get the exact results. It's the format that I want to see. So by doing that, we can see the results and we can see the difference between isotropic material and orthotropic material. So now we can go for the model and I'm gonna show you how we can define the orthotro orthotropic material for in UMAT code. This is the model that we used in our previous mod, uh, video. So if you want to see how I def uh, created this model, you can refer to the description and find it. Here, as you can see, I defined two different material, one with UMAT, uh, without having a UMAT code and the other one with knowing the UMAT. So we can switch between the materials by material one or material two. We can define if we want to use the UMAT core or, or if we want to use the isotropic material. Everything is pretty much similar to our previous model. I didn't change anything and I already run the models. But before showing you the model, I want to show you the code. So this is the code that I've generated it. And uh, as I explained, I, and you can see that I only use those variable that it was in the MATLAB code for here. And after that, I only wrote this line. Uh, this is pretty much everything for defining the orthotropic material. But please consider that if you define if you use wrong value variable for this it means that you're not following the equation that it was provided from the pdf file 
which means that you might get the wrong answer now we can see the result from and the difference between those materials you can see the strain pattern part two is different from the, from the part one it's true that we use different value for young modulus but it doesn't mean that they should have different strain because we pull these two parts for a certain value but the Poisson ratio is different for them so if it was isotropic it should be same pattern longer or larger or smaller but because they have different portion ratio because the materials are, uh, have different material property in every direction so you can see the major difference in this material okay i think i explained pretty much everything i i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any other question please let me know so i can help you with until the next video bye